There have been many influential women in the geosciences through the years, and here are six that the Michigan Geological Survey wants to highlight. From paving the way for future women scientists, to major geologic discoveries, to current research and innovation, these women have made a large impact on the past and present history of the scientific community. Here are six influential women in geoscience. Born in Massachusetts in 1862, Florence Bascom was an influential geologist and educator. Bascom found her interest in petrography while earning a master's degree in geology at the University of Wisconsin. She continued her education at John Hopkins, becoming the first woman to graduate from the university with a PhD, and only the second woman in the United States to earn a PhD in geology. Bascom dedicated much of her career as an educator. Starting at Ohio State University, Bascom later went on to found the Bryn Mawr College Department of Geology in 1895, where she taught for 33 years. Hired in 1896, Bascom was the first woman to work for the United States Geological Survey and the first woman to be elected to council at the Geological Society of America in 1924. Bascom is best known for paving the way for future women geoscientists through her career as an educator and the research and mapping she did of the northeastern Piedmont region in the U.S. during her time with the USGS. Born in Denmark in 1888, Ing Lehmann was a prominent geophysicist famous for her work in seismology. Lehmann studied mathematics, chemistry, and physics at the University of Copenhagen and the University of Cambridge, earning a degree in physical science and mathematics from Copenhagen in 1920. She began her seismology career assisting Niles Eric Norlin, where she helped set up seismological observatories across Europe. She continued to study seismology on her own, and in only three years, she became the first chief of the seismology department of the Royal Danish Geodetic Institute, where she worked with seismologic data from Denmark and Greenland. Lehman is best known for her discovery of a discontinuity in the Earth's core in 1936, using seismic P waves to show that the core of the Earth is divided into an outer liquid layer and an inner solid layer. Later in her career while working in the United States, she discovered another discontinuity in the Earth's upper mantle, which came to be known as the Lehman discontinuity. Born in Michigan in 1920, Marie Tharp was a famous geologist and oceanographic cartographer. Tharp first studied English and music at Ohio University, but during World War II she was recruited to study petroleum geology at the University of Michigan. She would also continue her education at the University of Tulsa in mathematics. She began her geology career at an oil company in Oklahoma, but after a few years, she moved to New York to seek a more satisfying career. Tharp became one of the first women to be hired by the Lamont Geological Observatory working with Bruce Heason, drawing maps of the ocean floor from bathymetric data that he collected. She combined data from other researchers to attempt the first map of the entire ocean floor. Though she was not recognized for her contribution at the time, in 1956, Heason published their discovery of the Rift Valley on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which helped lead to the acceptance of the theory of plate tectonics. In 1977, Tharp and Heason's famous World Ocean Floor Panorama was published. Born in 1952, Marcia McNutt is a geoscientist that has an extensive education and made history with the scientific community by becoming the first female president of the USGS and NAS. Her bachelor degree was in physics from Colorado College. She then attended Scripps Institution of Oceanography where she received her PhD in Earth Sciences. During her studies, she became a certified scuba diver and trained in water demolition and explosive handling for the United States Navy. Due to her oceanography background, the majority of her research was focused on ocean island volcanism in the French Polynesia and continental breakup, which was focused on understanding the rheology of the lithosphere. She was able to conclude that young volcanoes could flex the lithosphere, which in turn would elevate other volcanoes in the proximity. With her extensive education, McNutt made huge strides in the science industry by becoming the first female director of the U.S. Geological Survey from 2010 to 2013 in their 130 year long history and the National Academy of Sciences from 2015 to 2022. 
In her time at the USGS, her term was famously marked by man-made and natural ecological disasters, including large magnitude earthquakes and Deepwater Horizon. During the BP oil spill, McNutt noted that the amount of information surrounding oil's movement within water was minimal. The USGS was able to construct the flow rate technical group to model how fast the spill was moving, how much oil was being released, and the potential movement of oil in the ocean. She was also able to provide the same tactic for the USGS confronting large magnitude earthquakes by noting the lack of information information of seismology in certain countries including Haiti and Chile. The USGS published countless reports and graphics to better prepare for these events in the future. In 2015, McNutt made history again by becoming the first woman president of the National Academy of Sciences, a nonprofit organization. The NAS inducts members based on outstanding scientific achievements and original research. Born in 1969, Hope Jaren is a geochemist and a geobiologist teacher at the University of Oslo in Norway. She is famous for her work in paleobiology, a branch of biology and paleontology concerned with the study of fossilized plants and or animals. Jaren received her bachelor's at the University of Minnesota in geology, then her PhD at the University of California, Berkeley in the field of soil science. Her dissertation was on the formation of biominerals within plants and ways to study and extract these minerals. She was a recipient of three Fulbright Awards and one of four scientists and the only woman to be awarded both the Young Investigator Medals given within the Earth Sciences for her groundbreaking research. Jaren's pioneering research is on paleoatmosphere, which is the study of the atmosphere using geology based on fossilized plants, in which she was able to study the biominerals trapped within fossilized plants and learn about the history of the Earth. She discovered that there was a second methane hydrate release that occurred 117 million years ago. Through the understanding of methane hydrate and permafrost, she was able to discover a rise in the Earth's temperature 117 million years ago. She also did research on Axel Heiberg Island, located between Canada and Greenland. Currently, the island is uninhabited and contains little to no vegetation. Yet, the island is famous for then having an unusual fossilized forest. Finding these trees insinuated that there must have been trees growing on the island at some point. By studying the fossilized forest, Sharon was able to estimate the environmental conditions of the island over 45 million years ago and determined that weather patterns on the island supported large forests that flourished during the Eocene. Even with all her pioneering research, Jaren is most known for her support in science awareness by speaking of stereotypes within science. This is most notable in her memoir, Lab Girl, written in 2016, which Jaren writes about her own encounters and the current issues of securing funding, mental health, and the sexism facing female scientists in the workplace. Jessica Watkins, born in 1988, is a geologist and environmental scientist currently making history in space. For undergrad, she studied geology and environmental sciences at Stanford University and then went to earn her PhD in geology at the University in California. Her graduate research focused on emplacement mechanics for landslides on Mars and Earth and water activity on both planets. The majority of Watkins' expeditions and research has been focused on geology and mechanics for NASA. As an undergraduate, Watkins worked at the Arms Research Center to support the Mars Phoenix lander, which was used to access local habitability and to research the history of water on Mars. During graduate school, she worked at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, working to create sonar technology of near-Earth asteroids. She also worked on Mars rover Curiosity, in which she was part of the Mars Sample and Return mission, which collected rocks and sediments from Mars and returned them to Earth for extensive geologic research. In 2017, Watkins was selected to be a member of the NASA Astronaut Group 22, in which she began training to become available for future space missions for NASA. Of 2020, she was selected as the fourth astronaut and became the first black woman to go on a long-duration mission to the International Space Station, and the final member of SpaceX Crew 4. Currently, of 2022, Watkins is still in space, and in an interview done while aboard the ISS, she states, I certainly would be absolutely thrilled to be able to be a part of the effort to go to another planetary surface, whether it be to the moon or Mars. And there is our timeline of six influential women in geosciences, and this timeline does not fully encompass all of the past, present, and future inspirational women that are out in the world. We hope with this video you learn more about diversity within science and all of the different avenues you can take with geoscience. 
In the description are links to our videos, What is a Geoscientist, going into more depth about the variety of jobs within the geoscience, and a link to Watkins' interview in space. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to rock the like and subscribe button.